Have you ever noticed that on a gloomy, rainy day, people seem to flock to black clothing? As if mirroring the dark clouds in the sky, darker colors seem to beckon where our mood dips low. But what if I told you that giving into this impulse only exacerbates the emotional darkness we may be feeling? That's right, wearing black can actually perpetuate and deepen a bad mood. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating science and psychology behind how the colors we choose to wear impact our mood, emotions, energy levels, and even physical health. You'll learn how color wavelengths affect us and discover how to make positive changes in your life just by embracing more vibrant colors. So, let's get started. Chapter 1, Understanding the Science of Color Perception The choices we make regarding color are far from arbitrary. In fact, science gives us great insight into how different wavelengths on the color spectrum subtly influence our minds and bodies. To grasp why black can detrimentally impact mood, we first need a foundational understanding of how we perceive color at the biological level. 1. What gives objects color? According to Dolores Cannon, color arises from an object's interaction with light. Specifically, the wavelengths of light that are reflected by or absorbed into an object determine its color. For example, a vibrant red t-shirt draws its bold hue from reflecting back longer wavelengths in the warm end of the visible color spectrum. In contrast, a blue hat absorbs these warm longer wavelengths while reflecting back only the shorter wavelengths that our eyes perceive as cool blue tones. No color is displayed in complete isolation. This is a key point, the colors we see depend on an object's selective absorption and reflection of light. What we perceive is influenced by the interplay between illumination, the object itself, and our visual system. Let's break down these components. 2. Light is pure energy. First and foremost, the origins of color begin with light. But what exactly is light? Scientifically speaking, it's a radiant energy composed of oscillating electric and magnetic fields propagating through space. Light forms a spectrum of electromagnetic radiation that includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared light, visible light, ultraviolet light, x-rays and gamma rays. Visible light, detectable by the human eye, consists of wavelengths ranging from about 380 to 700 nanometers. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. Differing wavelengths within this range are perceived as distinct colors. Violet and blue light have the shortest wavelengths, while red has the longest. Other colors like yellow, orange, and green fall between these two extremes. So in simple terms, light is a form of energy and color arises from different wavelengths along the light spectrum. Without light, there is no color. 3. The Properties of Objects Next enters the object itself. An object's unique chemical composition and surface structure determine how it interacts with light. Certain materials absorb some wavelengths while reflecting or transmitting others, giving an object its signature color. For example, a leaf appears green because its pigments absorb bluish and reddish light while reflecting green wavelengths back to our eyes. A yellow lemon selectively absorbs violet, blue, and orange wavelengths and reflects back yellow light. Every substance interacts uniquely with illumination depending on its atomic and molecular structure. 4. Human Visual Perception The third piece shaping our perception of color involves the biology of human vision. When various light wavelengths enter our eye, they traverse the cornea, pupil, lens, and vitreous humor before striking the retina. The retina contains photoreceptor cells called rods and cones. Cones are receptive to different wavelengths, signaling red, green, or blue color perception. The brain then integrates 
and interprets these signals along with other visual cues resulting in the colors we ultimately see. So color perception arises from a complex interplay between physics, chemistry, and biology. 5. Why this matters for clothing choices. Equipped with a scientific understanding of how we experience color, let's connect the dots to clothing choices. Garments display color based on how their fabrics interact with light. A black t-shirt absorbs most visible wavelengths, reflecting very little back to our eyes. A yellow top reflects back yellow wavelengths while absorbing and suppressing bluer hues. These effects then cascade, subtly but surely impacting our mood and mindset. Knowing this, we can become more intentional about the science underlying our color and clothing selections. Chapter 2 the psychological influence of the color black. Now that we've covered some colorful science basics, let's zero in on the main subject of this video, the hidden dangers of wearing black. What is it about this darkest of shades that can actually perpetuate low moods and energy levels? The key lies in understanding black psychological associations and impacts. 1. The color of mourning and loss. Across many cultures around the globe, black clothing represents mourning, grief, and loss. Think of the traditional black attire donned after a loved one's death for periods of bereavement and remembrance. There is a solemnity evoked by black, a weightiness that bespeaks sadness and farewells. Some believe the roots of black as mourning attire stem back to the Roman Empire. During this ancient period, black fabric was less expensive to produce than more vibrant dyes. The color became associated with those in lower social classes who could only afford simple dark clothing. Therefore, black took on connotations of solemnity and humility. While the origins may be debated, the symbolism of black as the color of grieving, sadness, and loss persists strongly today. But does wearing black every day in modern times still subconsciously reinforce these heavy associations? 2. The color of formality and seriousness. Beyond grief, black also conveys formality, professionalism, and seriousness in many societal settings. Picture a serious business meeting, almost everyone is clad in black suits, dresses, or pantsuits. There is a stoic conformity that black seems to represent in these contexts. However, some question whether this signals appropriate seriousness or stifles individuality and in creative thinking. Therapists point out how the heaviness of black attire worn daily may weigh on mood and mindset over time. 3. The Impact of Black on Depression Given its cultural associations with mourning and solemnity, it's not surprising that prolonged exposure to black has been linked to exacerbating or perpetuating depressive moods and emotions. One study found that compared to white clothing, wearing black clothing led to significant declines in cheerfulness, enthusiasm, and calmness for chapter recipients. Researchers attributed these effects to black's connections to sadness and loss. Think about times you felt low. You likely reach for a black sweater or shirt without even realizing it as if mirroring your inner emotional landscape. But in doing so, the darkness of the color only reinforces those gloomy feelings. It creates a feedback loop that sustains and potentially deepens sad moods and emotions. Chapter 3 Embracing the Positive Psychology of White Clothing If black absorbs light, then white does the opposite, it reflects light back outward. Light bounces off and scatters from a white surface, embodying luminosity and illumination. These properties translate symbolically, giving white powerful positive associations in our minds. Let's explore how wearing white can literally brighten your mood and outlook. 1. The color of purity and protection. In many cultures, white clothing represents purity, perfection, safety, and protection. 
Brides were white on their wedding day as a symbol of virtue. Doctors and nurses don white coats or scrubs, evoking hygiene and healing. White radiates refreshment and a clean slate, new beginnings without stain or darkness. It offers a sense of escape from the dreary qualities of black attire. Some even believe white provides an aura of actual physical protection. Those who want to repel negative energy or external influences may wear white as a shield of sorts, deflecting unwanted wavelengths away from their space. 2. The Positive Psychology of White Just as black can exacerbate depression, studies show that being surrounded by white can have measurable mood elevating and calming effects. Being exposed to and wearing the color white has been linked to increased feelings of security, comfort, hope, and positivity. White backgrounds promote relaxation while also enhancing focus and alertness. This research confirms that white elicits a psychological response beyond simply representing purity symbolically. The reflective property of white that makes it repel and scatter light translates psychologically, projecting positivity outward. 3. The color of self-expression. In addition to literally reflecting more light, white also represents reflecting your inner light, your unique personality, passions, and essence. Whereas black clothing promotes conformity and uniformity, white allows for greater creativity and self-expression. With a blank white canvas, we can add accessories and layers and colors aligned with our inner landscape. Rather than hide within the heaviness of black, embracing white allows our authentic selves to shine through. White serves as a symbol of self-expression, providing a canvas for showcasing your individuality, passions, and essence. Embrace white to reveal your authentic self without hiding in the heaviness of black. Chapter 4, Making Intentional Clothing Choices for Improved Well-Being Now that we've explored the hidden dangers of wearing black and the balancing psychological benefits of white clothing, let's discuss how to implement this knowledge into our daily lives. How can we become more intentional about choosing colors that uplift us? 1. Gradual changes for lasting impact. For some who are mostly black currently, the prospect of completely overhauling your wardrobe may feel daunting. But keep in mind that small, gradual shifts can have a big impact over time. Try phasing out your most worn or ill-fitting black clothing first. Donate or sell these to make space for a few vibrant new pieces. Build up gradually to give yourself time to adjust to the shift while integrating color. Rather than an overnight revolution, allow it to be an evolution towards more light-infused clothing. Think progress over perfection. 2. Incorporating white and lighter pieces. Start by adding just one go to white or lighter colored top or dress you feel great wearing. Having this bright foundational piece handy for tough days provides an instant mood boost. You can also begin layering lighter jackets, cardigans, and accessories over darker bottoms to balance the look. Over time, aim for a ratio where your lighter and more colorful items outnumber the darker ones. 3. Retain black accents mindfully. For those who don't want to ditch black entirely, focus on making it an accent rather than the main event. Only keep black pieces you truly love and that make you feel confident and empowered. Pair these with brightly colored bottoms or tops to lift the look overall. You'll still satisfy an edgier aesthetic while limiting black's psychological influence by making it secondary. 4. Choose colors that bring joy. A rainbow of possibilities awaits to infuse your wardrobe with joy. Draw inspiration from the colors you're naturally attracted to and make you smile. Take note of when you feel like wearing a certain color, this intuition arises from a deep inner wisdom. Select shades that align with your personality and current goals. Allow your clothing to radiate who you are. 5. Look for quality, not just quantity. 
As you build up your colorful clothing collection gradually, focus on quality staple pieces over quantity. Timeless, well-made items in uplifting hues can be mixed, matched, and recycled in many ways. Invest in a few statement items and versatile basics you'll enjoy wearing for years to come. A smaller but intentional rainbow wardrobe has a huge impact. 6. Consider color psychology. Explore how different colors influence mood and mindset as you choose new pieces. For example, yellow boosts happiness, red energizes, blue calms, and green balances. Different colors suit different contexts. The colors you wear to relax at home may differ from a big work presentation. Get creative, but also listen to intuition. 7. Express the authentic you. Most importantly, let your clothing affirm your unique essence. Discover colors that make you shine from within. When you look good in something, it's your inner spirit resonating with that wavelength. The most powerful act is being completely, authentically you. Allow your color choices to reflect and amplify this every day. Embrace the full spectrum. The next time you open your closet to get dressed, consider how the interplay between light, color, and perception impacts you mentally and emotionally. While black may provide an illusion of slimming, its psychological influence should give us pause. By gradually phasing in more white and vibrant shades that uplift and inspire, you can transform your mindset and outlook. Don't restrict yourself to a narrow band of the visible spectrum. Absorb all the colors and benefits of the full rainbow. When clothing choices affirm rather than diminish your inherent light, you send ripples of positivity out into the world. You show others around you the power of embracing color unapologetically. So shine on in hues that emanate the unique wavelength of your soul.